42 years ago, 1979, I was prompted by a vision to call a three-day prayer and fasting for the nation. A number of people in our church today were part of that prayer <laughs> meeting. Three days of prayer and fasting. I remember one of us, I saw him the following day, and I said, how are you doing? He said, sir, it's my first time of doing this. His eyes were red, but we still continued. <laughs> Praise God. I wasn't a pastor. I didn't have one parcel of land anywhere. I just saw a vision of bonfire descending on the country. And I was prompted to call that meeting. It was an awesome time. 42 years ago, you, you we always prosper in a nation you truly love. My story goes to validate that. I was 25 years old when that happened. I was not called to ministry then. So I wasn't trying to defend ministries coming. No. I had no idea of ministry and I wasn't planning for it. I just saw trouble landing on the nation in a vision. And I said, it's time to pray. And then on the third day, which is the first good news I'm giving you, and Job 34, verse 29. This is the word of the Lord. The last day of that meeting. When God gives quietness, who then can make trouble? And when he hides his face, who then can behold him? Whether it be done against a nation or against a man only. Mm. I told the brethren, the battle is over. The siege is over. Now let's close. <laughs> 1979, most of those who are making nonsense noise today had not gone to school then. They are just fraudsters. When God makes you to prosper, no devil can disprosper you. And I'm, I'm telling you the truth. Nigeria is rescued from these rogues yeah. and these murderers today. Yeah. Good news. If I find 50 righteous men in that city, I will spare the whole city for their sakes. Genesis 18 and verse 26. Verse 20, 20, 26 or 28. But adventure there shall be. Go back, please. 26. And the Lord said, If I find in Sodom 50 righteous within the city, then I will spare all the place for their sins. By the grace of God, we have more in multiplied forms who are pursuing after Jesus with all their heart, who will not be part of the corruption of the day, who wish well for the nation day and night, and who are agents of heaven on the earth in this country. Therefore, for the sake of the consecrated, Followers of Christ in this land, Nigeria is spared. Yeah. Every gang up of hell against the well being of Nigeria is shattered. Yeah. Peace and prosperity shall reign in Nigeria again.
Number three, good news. Daniel chapter 2, verse 20 and 21. Daniel answered and said, Blessed be the name of God forever and ever, for wisdom and might are his. 21. He changed times and seasons and the seasons. He removes kings and sets of kings. He gives wisdom to the wise and knowledge to the them that know understanding. God is in charge, no matter who's making noise. God is in charge, no matter the proud talk of the proud. He still removes kings today and sets up kings. So anyone that won't let Nigeria go forward, God has removed them. Every gang up of looters and killers in this nation, God has removed them. It's a special area. It removes kings and sets up kings. Today, fire is burning in their camp. Daniel chapter 4, verse 30 to 32. The king spake and said, It's not this great Babylon that are built for the house of the kingdom by the might of my power and for the honor of my majesty. My God. Why the world was in the king's mouth, there fell a voice from heaven saying, O King Nebuchadnezzar, to thee it is spoken, the kingdom is departed from thee. That's the end of the proud, the arrogant, the killer, the destroyer, everyone that is against the well-being of the people, God is against them. And watch what he said later. Go ahead. And they shall drive thee from men, and thy dwelling shall be with the beasts of the field. They shall make thee to eat grass as oxen, and seven times shall pass over thee until thou know that the Most High ruleth in the kingdom of men, and giveth thee to whomsoever I will. Come on, give the Lord praise. Nigeria shall not continue under this siege. The cry of the fatherless, the motherless, the childless has entered to the ears of God today and judgment will come upon killers in this nation. Judgment has come upon murderers in this nation. Now verse 34 to 35. Daniel 4. And at the end of the days, I, Nebuchadnezzar, lifted up my eyes unto heaven. And my understanding returned unto me. And I blessed the Most High. And I praised and honored him that liveth forever. Whose dominion is an everlasting dominion. And his kingdom is from generation to generation. We are talking about the God whose dominion is forever. And from generation to generation. No, nobody voted God in. No one can vote him out. And all the inhabitants of the earth are reputed as nothing. And he dwells according to his will in the army of heaven. And among the inhabitants of the earth. And none can say unto him, or say, can stay his hand, or say unto him, what dress thou? Only can you. And I'm telling you the truth. He can turn a man to an animal overnight. of hell, every force from the pit of hell that's against the well-being of this nation comes under judgment today. Jesus. 
Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Ezekiel chapter 11 and verse 1 to 4. <coughs> it's another good news. Moreover, the Spirit lifted me up and brought me unto the east gate of the Lord's house, which looketh eastward. And behold, at the door of the gate, five and twenty men, among whom I saw Jezaniah, the son of Azo, and Pelat. Pelatiah, the son of Beniah, princes of the people. And said unto me, son of man, these are the men that devise mischief and give wicked counsel in this city. And what did he say? We say it is not near. Let us build houses. <coughs> this city is a cauldron and we be the flesh. We can have anything we want. Therefore, prophesy against them. Now, people don't understand this. God is angry with the wicked every day. Prophesy against them, not for them. Prophesy against them. Prophesy against them. Pray against them. Make decrees against them. Because judgment against evil work is not speedily executed, therefore the sons of men, they just tear themselves up to continue their evil. So judgment, speedy judgment, comes through prophetic scriptures against the wicked. Now I know some religious people are out there everywhere, but do you pray for a number robber? Who broke your children's leg? Oh God, bless him. Oh God. You pray against him. You know what it takes to hack him down? You hack him down. Prophesy against them. Prophesy against them. Prophesy against them. Prophesy against them. Verse 6. Ezekiel 11, verse 6. Therefore, it says, ye have multiplied your slain in this city, and ye have filled the streets thereof with the slain. What a picture of our nation. We have never suffered a wave of insecurity in the history of this nation. I was talking to you about 1979. Nigeria was 19 years old. Today we are 61. Now, Situation is worse today than then because of wicked men and women that find their way to the corridors of power. Nerus Kabala Tenia and Coco Pekenia Nutnane Nerus Kane Praditoto Emobo Bakiti Sekrodi Payate Manketeke Troli Aleta. The end has come. Nigeria shall be a safe land again. Yeah. Traveling the north, south, east, and west will be without fear anymore. Yeah. Farmers will not be afraid on their farm anymore. Yeah. The source of this wickedness is judged today. Yeah. The testimony of that judgment begins from now. Thank you, Jesus. Now, verse, it, verse 13 and the first phrase of it. And it came to pass when I prophesied that Pelatiah, the son of Beniah, died. <laughs> By the word of the Lord today, those who have made many parents childless will go for it. They will pay with their life for it. Those who are on a spiritual killing spree, the end has come to their life and their business. Those who buy human lives for peanut, 
the end has come to their generation today. The forces behind the full of the hearts men comes under judgment today. The root of Boko Haram is caused from the root today. Now the Lord said to me, Behold, I've touched your tongue with a coal of fire. And from henceforth, as you say it, you see it. Trouble has landed in the camp of the wicked. Some went on NYC, never returned. Parents can't find them anymore. The wickedness of the wicked has consumed them. Now, every source of this wickedness comes under judgment today. Thank you, Father. The bad news for the devil is that the end of his wicked acts in Nigeria has finally come. The bad news for all the agents of the devil in this country is that their end has finally come. Thank you, Father. Somebody excited about the good news? Give the Lord the biggest clap of praise. We are commanded, Psalm 122, verse 6 and 7. Pray for the peace of Jerusalem. They shall prosper that love thee. Peace be within thy walls and prosperity within thy palaces. Verse 8. For my brethren and companion's sake, I will now say peace within thee, be within thee. And because of the house of the Lord our God, I will seek thy good. You normally prosper by the hand of God as a lover of your Jerusalem. As a lover of your Jerusalem. So expect new waves of prosperity in your life. Amen. I will stand on this ground making these decrees until every aspect of it is established. Amen. Sorrow and despair will be far from our country. Amen. It shall be a new day for every one of us. Let me have you say we serve a God of vengeance. He said because of He said the day of vengeance in my heart because the year of my redeemed has come. It's important for us to know that God has his time and seasons. This time is ordained for our rescue, final rescue as a people. And we're going to see it happen. Amen. Lift up your right hand to heaven and thank God for answered prayers and for these prophetic verdicts against every evil work in our country. Amen. God who flushed out that gang up of, of Pelataya will flush them out. Amen. We shall sing a new song in Nigeria. Yeah. We shall sing a new song in Nigeria. Yeah. We shall sing a new song in Nigeria. Yeah. We shall sing a new song in Nigeria. Yeah. You shall sing a new song in your family. Yeah. Now, anyone that dares a winner for assault, Dies on the spot. Anyone that dares a member of any household of a winner goes down for their sake.
anyone that set his eyes on any church to set on fire goes blind on the spot. Anyone that makes any other attempt to enter into a school to cut away innocent children, they and their children, children in their generation will be forgotten. Anyone that makes others to mourn must be born then. In the name of Jesus. The powers of heaven is against them. The blood of Jesus is against them. A new day dawns on Nigeria today. A new day dawns on our country today. In the name of Jesus. By the time we are 62, we are singing a new song. It will be as if what has happened over the five, six years never happened. And so shall it be. Lift up your two hands and give God thanks. Give God thanks for your encounter today.